Welcome back to EASD TV, and it's my great pleasure, big drum roll, this year's Rising Stars. Gentlemen, would you please introduce yourselves? Hi, good morning. My name is uh, Luca Donofrio. I am a medical doctor and uh, I work in Rome, in Sapienza University and uh, in uh, Policlinico General Hospital. Um, and uh, I work in the group of uh, Professor Buzzetti and we work on diabetes, of course, and uh, both in clinical aspects and in um, research activity. So we are interested uh, in mainly uh, autoimmune diabetes, type 1 diabetes, and the new complication of diabetes. And in particular, uh, during my, um, my formation, I also spent some one year almost in Manchester to do some research with the um, ENA group of, uh, led by Professor Malik, and I have the opportunity to uh, have more insight about diabetes neuropathy. And so I work on both the, um, these issues. Can I just say, Rome or Manchester, Rome every time. <laughs> and you, sir. Um, good morning to everyone. Um, I'm Alessandro Mengozzi, and uh, actually, and now I, I should say that I come from Zurich, uh, so Switzerland, but uh, um, actually I'm part of a collaborative project between the University of Zurich and the uh, Zurich University Hospital, in particular at the Center of Transitional and Experimental Cardiology in uh, Zurich under the supervisor, supervision of Professor Paneni, and uh, the, um, uh, my let's say, alma mater university, which is the University of Pisa, uh, under my professor, which is uh, Professor Agostino Vedis. And so um, I have to disclose I'm not a fully diabetologist, I am a cardiometabolic scientist, which is uh, half and half of a cardiovascular guy and a, a diabetologist guy. And I work on uh, cardiometabolic epigenetics, which is a sort of how the environment, diet, and how, uh, and let's say, everything impact indirectly, but uh, from a very early moment of, uh, of disease, uh, the progression of the disease itself. So epigenetics, the kind of post-it notes that go on DNA, which ex 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 then ex alter the way that, that, it's that you post on DNA. Exactly. Okay, so you've been nominated as rising stars. Is that scary? Is it supportive? Is it a burden or a blessing? Yes, it's quite a you know difficult question to answer. I think, of course, it's a big opportunity, but uh, mm, it's also a um, mm, responsibility because we have a task to perform, and uh, we should demonstrate to be able to <laughs> done our project and carry on with our research. But of course, I think it's something uh, uh, of. Um, mm, it's some very important support that the scientific society uh, give us um, young researcher in the field of diabetes because in some way they are pushing us forward to do something new, something better uh, and something also in some way challenging. Yeah, I, I totally agree with uh, Luca. Um, I think that it's uh, a positive burden, I would say so. And it's an honor to be uh, it's acknowledged as a rising star uh, by the SD, which is, I mean, also in my personal history, one of the first uh, European scientific uh, community that I uh, uh, that I started to, to to be involved in. And uh, so it, it's fascinating, but uh, it, it's a burden because uh, I mean, uh, with great powers comes great responsibilities, and, and we, we are young. Uh, we have to demonstrate that indeed we, we deserve that. And but uh, I mean, I, I think that we are fully motivated in doing so, and uh, it, it's it's good to, to know that uh, I mean, a prestigious scientific society like ESD is pushing us forward. No, I'm, I was totally happy when I read the email. To be serious, congratulations to you both because it's, it is a great honour and it says a great deal about you that you've been nominated as Rising Stars. So you've come to the programme, the EASD, this year. We've been talking quite a lot about the future of diabetes and you are the future of diabetes. But what are the things on the programme that you particularly are looking forward to and is there any big trend that you're seeing in diabetes at the moment? Oh, I think um, it's 
in the, at this moment, I think in the diabetes field, we are full of new trend. And uh, if we um, see the diabetes treatment, the diabetes studies to um, go deepen in the uh, pathophysiology and so on, we have uh, a lot of new um, new facts that are emerging. And I think that uh, uh, for, for example, autoimmune diabetes is quite important. Uh, the um, new automated system to deliver insulin that are really changing the life of our patients and uh, also the, the, the large um, research that it's um, been doing on the cardiovascular risk of diabetes. Uh, so I, this, two, these two aspects are um, one of the um, the main uh, focus and then of course I'm also interested in uh, what's happening of course with the nerves with the brain and uh, so on but that maybe it's more my uh, field of expertise and interest. And how about you Alessandro? Well I think that um, um, the, the future uh, of, uh, of diabetes is to move towards a more uh, in, let's say more an in integrative uh, standpoint um, uh, approach because um, we we already know a lot about diabetes but to, we have also to acknowledge that, that this lot of knowledge is not sufficient to completely abrogate the, the risk of, of the patient and probably because we need uh, different standpoints and all these standpoints to be integrated together and so uh, I mean the, the residual cardiovascular risk of each individual is, uh, um, is still a, a major problem of debate and it was 10 20 years ago and and this is probably because we need to approach the, the problem from from different fa facets and um, I mean uh, one, one of these could be epigenetics actually uh, uh, but also uh, acknowledge that uh, uh, I mean beta cell function and insulin resistance are major uh, uh, metabolic uh, regulators of, of the diabetic condition but also the um, let's say adipose tissues plays a crucial role in that and we have to acknowledge that only by integrating all the information that comes from different areas that once we thought be quite separated one from each other but now we have to acknowledge that they are all in, integrated together in a gigantic terrific uh, uh, system and I mean very easy to, to, to talk about very difficult to, to, to prove uh, and, and an effective therapeutic evidence because that's the problem therapies so you're for breaking down silos yeah yeah uh, I mean. so smashing silos yes uh, more, so, more, more ladies less. and gentlemen, I present to you Luca and Alessandro. Note them well. Have a good look at their faces. Make sure that if you see them, you say hello to them and introduce yourself to them because these are rising stars. We'll be back with you again soon. And congratulations once again to you both. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.